Hello again everyone, RB Plays here with another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about MultiMC again, but this time we're going to talk about MultiMC for Windows. Uh, if you were, if you followed the channel, you noticed that I put up a Linux tutorial for MultiMC uh, a little bit ago, and uh, several of my Windows followers were asking me if I could do the same thing for them. So today that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, as with Linux, the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is make sure that you have the correct version of Java. If you're just playing uh, vanilla Minecraft, Java 11 is fine, but if you're going to be playing modded, you need to make sure that you have Java 8, and there are plenty of tutorials out there on how to get Java 8 installed on Windows, so I'm not going to uh, cover that today. Uh, once you have the correct version of Java installed, then you want to navigate to the MultiMC website, which you can get to by going to multimc.org. Once you're at multimc.org, then you go to the Download and Install tab, and you find the Windows installer, which is under Windows. It's a download for 32-64-bit. You'll click that, and it will download the file for you. Okay. Normally, it will just download it to your Downloads folder. Your mileage may vary depending on what your quote-unquote download folder for your web browser is. But once you have it downloaded, then you're going to want to navigate to your uh, folder that you've downloaded it to. In my case, it is the downloads folder. And you can see that we have this zipped file here called mmc-stable-win32. The next thing that we want to do is we want to extract that zipped file. So to extract the zip file in Windows, all you have to do is right click, scroll down to where it says extract all, hit extract. It'll ask you if this is where you want to save it. But once you've got the place that you want to download it to or extract it to, you just hit extract and then it'll extract the files for you. And what you'll see here is inside of that folder, we have another folder called MultiMC. This folder, MultiMC, is all you need to run MultiMC on Windows. Uh, you can move this file any place you like. I typically just leave it in my downloads folder, um, but you can move it any place that you like. You can put it in your C drive. You can put it in some other system folder. Some people put it in their uh, in their x86 file or their program x86 file folders, program files 86. Uh, you can put it anywhere that you like, but once you have it, once you have this folder, then you want to go ahead and get inside of this folder and you want to find your multi MC launcher. It'll be the only one in here, should be the only one in here that has an icon with it, uh, that has an image. Uh, if you have your extensions turned on, it'll say um, multimc.exe, and you'll also notice that it says that it's an application, not an application extension or a conf file or anything like that. Uh, I will typically either put this on my desktop or I will, uh, I will pin it to my start menu. Okay, so I actually have it pinned to my start menu now, so we're, we should be good there. But then you can, uh, you can either double click on this now or you can go to start or wherever you pinned it to, and you can launch MultiMC. Windows is going to freak out a little bit. That's okay. You just hit More Info. You say Run Anyway. And the very first thing that you're going to see is your, uh, is your language setup file. So you want to pick whatever language you're going to use. In our case, we're going to use American English. Your mileage, of course, will vary. Uh, it'll ask you to confirm your Java path, so we have Java 1.8. It will also ask you to confirm how much memory you want to allocate. If you're using this to play vanilla Minecraft, single player, no real uh, add-ons, data packs, mod packs, or anything like that, then the, the lower amount of RAM will be fine. I typically will make the maximum amount of memory allocation somewhere between 8 and 10 gigs because I play a lot of modded Minecraft. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to go ahead and keep it as the, uh, as the suggested. Uh, and then uh, you can either opt in or opt out of enabling analytics. I typically will opt out, hit finish, and there you have it. You have MultiMC installed. Uh, from this point, what you would need to do is you need to go to your profiles. You'll need to go to manage your account. You'll need to add your Minecraft account uh, by inputting your email and your password for your Mojang account. Once you have that, you can also scroll through and you can set up some of the different uh, some of the different settings. Like I will, uh, I will usually play in. Uh, oops, I will usually play in 720. So I'll set that up for 1280 by 720. Of course, Java we should have already had set up. If, if you want to, if you've decided you want to change the amount of RAM that you have set up, you can change that there. Uh, languages, custom commands, proxies, extension tools. We already talked about accounts uh, and so forth. Um, after that, game on. You can add an instance. In this case, let's say we just want to add a vanilla instance. So you can go to Add Instance, Vanilla, 
and it'll have whatever the current releases are, uh, all of the released versions of Minecraft going all the way back, uh, as far back as it will, as you want to go. You can also enable snapshots, old snapshots, betas, alphas, experimentals, etc. Uh, you could also, if you have a mod pack in, in particular that you want to play, uh, like right now the supporters are playing, um, the supporters on my channel are, are, are playing a mod pack that we can download from Curse, so you download that and then you can import it from zip. Uh, so you just hit this and then you'll browse to wherever that folder is that you have the zip file saved to. Uh, and then you hit, once you have the, ver or you can do FTB legacy packs as well. So FTB interactions, Sky Odyssey, FTB ultimate, uh, etc. Oh, we're playing all the mods for now. That's what it is. Um, but we're just going to do a vanilla instance. So we're going to say vanilla. We're going to say 115.2. Uh, and we're just going to go, you can give it a name. You can assign it to a group. Doesn't really matter. And then you just say, okay. And there you have it. You have a version of Minecraft 115.2. You double click it. And then of course you have to, you have to have your account added. Once you have your account added, uh, then you can launch the, you can launch the game and you can play. Hope this tutorial helped you out. I do appreciate you watching. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you again in the next tutorial. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.